So today we are going to talk about peas and beans. More specifically, we're getting the beans planted out in the bed and we're building some supports. Because, did you know there's different types of supports? <laughs> Well, hello, hello. Um, it's June. The rest of Scotland is basking in glorious sunshine um, and we're under a har. A har, if you guys don't know what a har is, it's like a sea fog because we actually live on the coast. So when you get those beautiful sunny days for like a couple of days or so, that heat hits the cold water on the coast or here it's the Firth of Forth and that creates this sea fog, this har that we sit under. Now, hopefully, what usually happens is by about two o'clock in the afternoon, the sun burns it off and you get the beautiful sunshine. Um, it hasn't happened so far this week. We've been like this every single day. It's quite depressing. Yeah, let's go. Peas. Definitely peas and not beans, because I mix it up a lot. It's just a word thing with me. But I'm going to talk about peas and beans today, because as you can see, the peas are doing absolutely fantastic. Now, most of these, I must confess, are the ones that I sowed in the greenhouse. Because, um, two reasons. Number one, the wee issue I had with the wee blackbird that was coming and stealing the straw for its nest, um, it actually damaged a few of the peas that had been sown outside. So they were doing great. They weren't as big as the greenhouse, but they were doing fine, but they got damaged. Um, and then the ones that were left actually got killed off by some really, really, really bad frost that we had like three or four days in a row. So um, there's one left at this side. And I'll show you, it's, to be honest, it's not much smaller than these guys. It's maybe a couple of inches smaller, but it's strong and it's going. So as you can see, we are starting to get flowers. Hurrah! So we're probably going to have peas soon. Can't wait. But the reason I wanted to do peas and beans together is, if you're new to this stuff, here's an interesting fact. You have these supports because the plants climb on them. But did you know that peas and beans climb differently? So they need different types of supports. The peas, you will see, I've given them this support that has the strings and the canes because they do this scrambling thing. They have all these tendrils and these tendrils are what attach to things and hold the plant up. I mean, you can see here. And the plant puts out multiple shoots. So one pea plant will actually give you three or four of these big long shoots. And each one has all of these tendrils that are looking for something to grip. Okay, now it helps if you can just introduce them to the thing they need to grip. Because they're not very smart. So if you just wrap those tendrils around a couple of times, they'll get the idea and they'll grow that way. Okay, so that is the peas. Beans, how do they grow then? Aha! I just popped back in to have a quick chat. And um, you know in these bits of the videos I normally do the whole and remember to hit that like button and the subscribe button and the little bell. Well, a little addition to that one because Ellen posted a wee comment this week and I thought it's actually a really interesting thing that you guys may not know about and it's part of the whole why do YouTubers say that and how does YouTube work? Um, so Ellen asked about any ways that she could support us and our whole video making and I always think people always assume it's a financial thing when they talk about that. So ways you guys can support us that doesn't cost you anything. Number one, the whole like, subscribe, hit the bell thing. The way YouTube works is they look at videos and they say, does your audience watch your videos? And do they watch the whole video or do they just watch a bit of it and then go away? And they say, if people watch the whole video, then obviously people like it and they'll recommend it to other people. So the number one way that you can support us is just by watching our videos. And if you like them, watch them all the way through. Number two, 
the whole subscribe button, like, bell, all that kind of stuff. The other thing YouTube judge on is how much interaction there is or engagement on the videos. So if you like a video, if you hit the like button and if you comment on it, um, YouTube know that you liked it. And now, here's the weird thing. If you hit a thumbs down because you don't like a video, YouTube don't distinguish. So a thumbs down gets the same engagement rating as a thumbs up. Um, but also, if you share videos, YouTube counts that as well. So if you share our videos with all your friends on social media and your family and stuff, then YouTube counts that as engagement. So that's the number two. So number one, watch the videos. Number two, like, share, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. And number three, this is financial, but doesn't cost you anything. Those annoying adverts on videos that we all hate, let's be honest, I don't like them either. Um, they're there because it actually costs us a bit to do all the stuff we do. We put the ads on the videos to try and recoup some of the costs. Like last week's video, you guys saw that the mic broke during the video and I had to switch out to another mic and then the sound was really rubbish. So obviously replacing that mic costs money. So we try and recoup those expenses using the ads, but do you know that we actually don't get anything from those adverts unless you guys watch at least 30 seconds of the ad? Yeah, I know, it's mad, isn't it? So there's a way, if you guys want to support us in a way that doesn't cost you anything, then if you watch about 30 seconds of the ads, we get a fraction of a pence for the ad. It's not much, but, you know, goes towards buying a new microphone. Okay, enough of this boring stuff and back to the fun stuff. Let's go. So what I'm going to do for the beans then is the same idea. I've got these bamboo poles I'm going to use, but what you can see is they are much taller because the peas don't grow quite as tall as the beans do. So that's the first change. Got my canes, got my string. So pretty much the same idea. This kind of A-frame style gets traditionally called an apex. Okay, so it's just two beams that cross at the top so that you can balance a beam over the centre of them. But the amount of uprights you have along the sides is determined by the amount of beams you have to grow because, because Unlike your peas, which scramble and put out the multiple tendril things, these guys actually grow up the support. So you want one cane for each of your plants because it's going to wind around it and grow up there. So these were planted about nine days ago in the greenhouse in these root trainers. Now, at this time of year when it's a bit warmer in Scotland, you can be planting your beans directly out in the soil. 
I had just got this going in the greenhouse to speed things up because, you know, I've got a greenhouse so I may as well. So, top tip, when you're planting your beans, plant them inside, okay, not on the outside like we did with the peas because they're going to grow up and meet this cane and then that will encourage them to grow. So plant them on the inside because canes are like that and the bean will meet it. Top tip. Your soil for your beans, you want it to be really nice and rich. Okay, so there's a lot of kind of old gardeners tricks. What they do is they actually dig a trench and they put all their kind of kitchen scraps and things into it so that it composts down in the trench, making the soil super, super rich. Plant it in nice and firm. You can see this is a good thing about these root trainers as I end up with these really stable little plugs that I can move so there's less chance of damage in the roots of the plant. I really like them for that. There we go. And that one didn't take. I'll get the rest of these planted up but that is essentially it. Now if they don't take and they don't spiral round, you can actually help them just put a wee bit of string or padded wire or something around just to help them find their way. Um, but they usually do quite well once they get going. This is now a bed of peas and beans. So I might stop mixing them up now. So, pea and bean supports that easy. Hope this was useful guys. See you in the next video. Bye!